Hey there motion graphics designers, have you ever wondered how cartoony cloud transition is made? That's exactly what we will be learning today. For this tutorial you will need a plugin called Trapcode Particular which is not free and a 3D Orbit script by Video Copilot which you can get for free if you click on the link in the description below. Alright, let's start off by creating a new composition. 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS and duration, I think 5 seconds will be fine. Now we need to create a pleasant background. You can do that by right clicking on the workspace and choosing solid. Let's go for a bright yellow color. We also need to create a null object. So right click on the workspace and choose null object. Let's rename the null to path. Click in this box to make it 3D and by selecting it apply an effect called 3D orbit and change the speed of the 3D orbit to 1000. Go to the beginning of the composition, click on the time watch of the radius and change it to 0. Go 3 seconds into the composition and change it to 1300. This will create a perfectly round path which our null can follow. Now we can create a light. Right click on the workspace and create a new light. You will see an option to rename it. Make sure to rename it to emitter. Select the light and click P for position to change the Z position to 0 because we need the null and the light to be aligned. After this, all you have to do is drag the emitter to the top left corner of the null object and link the emitter to the null object. Now right click and create a new solid and apply trapcode particular to it. Change the emitter type to light and by going to the particles section change the color to dark blue. Now you can see we have created a 3D vortex of particles. But we want this path to be shown from above. We can do that by right clicking on the workspace and creating a new camera and a brand new null object. Rename the null object to camera control. Make it 3D and link your camera to the camera control. Now all you have to do is select your camera. Press P for position and change the third number to minus 1 and just decrease the middle number to somewhere around minus 3800. Now select your camera control and apply a little motion to it. Click P for position and go to the beginning of your composition. After that click on the time watch and change the middle number to 540. But it already should be like that by default. Go 3 seconds into the composition and change the middle number amount to somewhere around 1500. There we go, the hardest part of this tutorial is completed, now let's make the particles funkier. Select the solid where your particular effect is applied to and go to emitter settings. Let's change the particles per second to 300 and go to the 3 second mark in the composition. Go one keyframe backwards and click on the time watch for the particles per second. Now go one keyframe forward and change the amount from 300 to 0. Because we don't want it emitting particles which are out of the composition. As for the rest of the settings, change the velocity random distribution from motion and all emitter sizes to 0. Now let's go to the particles section. Change the life to 1.2 and life randomness to 0. This way, particles will only be visible for 1.2 seconds after their birth. Change the particle type to cloudlet and feather to 0 or else it will look ugly as hell. Size to 75, size randomness to 75 and when opening the size of life choose the graph which looks like a mountain. For me it is the third option. All we have to do now is go to the physics section, open the air section and change the spin amplitude to somewhere between 200 and 250. I will go for 200. After that open the turbulence field and change the effect size to 25 and effect position to 35. We have finally finished the particles. Now we simply need to duplicate the solid by clicking Ctrl plus D. And change some of the settings. First of all, let's change the velocity in the emitter section to 65 and randomly generate the seed number so we have a little bit of variety to the particle motion. Go to the particles section and change the life to 1.1, size to 55 and change the color to lighter blue. Go to the physics section, change the spin amplitude to 250 and effect position to 30. Now let's duplicate it one more time. You only need to change the settings I mentioned before so we get a little different look. Change the velocity in the meter section to 35 and randomly generate a seed number once again. In the particle section change the life to 1, size to 35 and change the color to very light blue, almost white. Go to the physics section and change the spin amplitude to 150 and effect position to 50. And last but not least let's create some particles for extra funkiness. Duplicate the solid once again and go to the emitter section. Before we change anything, go to the one keyframe before the 3 second mark and go on it. 
Now change the particles per second in the particular to 500 or even more for extra funkiness and change the velocity to 75. Now go to the particle section and change the size to 10 and the particle type to sphere. You can keep life to 1 though. Now go to the physics section and change the spin amplitude to 300 and effect position to 60. This means that the turbulence will be very big for these little particles. And last, select the upper solid and move it underneath the third solid because we don't want for the little particles to be visible too much. This is it, you have created your own cartoony cloud transition. Hope you liked the tutorial and if there is anything you'd like to know, let me know in the comments.